Milky Way residents, we have a new neighbor. Well, newly discovered, that is. We know of about four dozen galaxies that circle our own, and uh, there was one recent discovery of a nearly invisible object, and that is Crater 2. I love this. I love that this galaxy, which could have been around since the beginning of the universe. Yeah. That's, that's what they suspect, that this dwarf galaxy could possibly be as old as the universe itself, and we just now found it because it's so dark mm -hmm. that it's it's full with, uh, it's it's not a lot of it's stars. It's aligned with other yeah. nearby astronomical uh, objects, yes. which would make it um, kind of hard, hard to spot, see. But it also, it's also full of dark matter. Mm -hmm. Which is something that we're only beginning to understand. Understand, yeah. So we are able to discover this because uh, we have the, the technology now with, a, we have a dark matter like telescope and the ability to see this stuff, which is wonderful and fantastic. And God, I love science. Um, but yeah, it's, it's well, I mean, like there's, there's half the, like the amount of stars in this, it's, you know, what they say, it's almost like the size of, um, like it's almost like when you see it, it's, it could hide behind the moon mm -hmm. is what it looks like. So it's like this beautiful galaxy that's been out there roaming in space this whole entire time and we just now discovered it and it's fantastic. Well, I think it's really helpful because as you said, it's, it's been here since mm -hmm. the, the beginning. So this helps us, to, uh, by studying it, it helps us see how our galaxy was formed mm -hmm. and how the other galaxies were formed and perhaps what's ahead. Uh, it's, it's wouldn't, it was only found in the, the last couple years, mm -hmm. or no, not this one, it was found newly, but uh, the discovery of all these other galaxies were yeah. only uh, prevalent to us in the last couple of years thanks to the dark energy camera on the Blanco 4 meter telescope in Chile. Uh, and until 10 years ago, this would have been untenable. Thank you, dark energy. I was saying dark matter because my head is still in um, Marvel. In Marvel. So <laughs> thank you, dark energy. But yeah, like the, the, oh gosh, it's just, you know, we, we think about, you know, we've got the Kepler telescope that's out there and discovering new stars and planets almost on a daily basis. So now we have this, you know, it's, it, it's astronomical to think how unending space is. Mm -hmm. And I love it. I, I, you know, and it makes me wonder what what's just around the corner. What's just out there? You know. I mean, when I, I you talk to people who are um, astronomers, mm -hmm. and sometimes I hear people ask the question, "Why are you doing is, this?" And the answer is to know why this is all here yeah. and what this all is and where we're going and where we're from and what is the universe and mm -hmm. what what is this galaxy? It is. One of the greatest questions that we've never had answered and sometimes gets, I would say, swept to the side, overlooked, uh, but it does show how great things are. And I mean great in size yeah. and mass. But also great in, in, in the fact that we as humans have come this far to discover this. And I think, you know, I would love to be able, because this, this uh, dwarf galaxy is so close in proximity, you know, we might have the ability to Re, like research it further and you know go go in deep to be well, able this to send is, this, if a dwarf galaxy yeah. is the chief place to look mm -hmm. and study at dwarf uh, not dwarf uh dark matter yeah. which is dark energy no no dark, <laughs> oh, dark, dark matter. matter too yes it's, that's a thing yes um but <laughs> i thought you meant specifically with no. the telescope but yeah mm -hmm. dark matter is a thing yeah. but the telescope is the dark energy mm -hmm. in the title uh let's lay it out uh but that that is how we learn about it is wh what is it how is it distributed? Mm -hmm. Where did it come from? And uh, I mean, let's be honest, Hydra did not discover it. That's, I mean, the way Agent Carter went down, that is not how it really exists, guys. Just so saying. spectroscopy and other studies of this galaxy will help us answer some mm -hmm. of the great questions that have persisted throughout time. And, uh, and it's cool to see that this telescope was able to yeah. make us learn so much and that there's so much uh, in the horizon mm -hmm. for us. Uh, to discover. I did not mean that as a pun, but there you go. Audience, what do you think about this new discovery and what will we learn? Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.